Alright, so here we are again, another episode of LEGO Island 2 on the PS1. And uh, right now we gotta get past King Cedric's cannonballs or something. I, I sort of remember this minigame now that we're playing it. Oh, yeah. You just have to, like, duck and weave? Like, what's the, what's the deal here? Oh, okay, yeah, I remember this, I remember this. He jumps back and forth between the flags. Fire. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> Man, Pepper sounded angry about that one. Better like next time, Cedric. <laughs> Are we supposed to hit him? I, yeah, are you? I think you're hitting him. Oh, oh. that seemed more like. Are we hitting the him. castle? I think you're supposed to hit him. Ah, I shall pepper, pepper with cannons. He's moving really slow. <laughs> oh, yeah, that didn't hit. There we go. Oh, he took out the cannon. Okay, this makes more sense now. There you go, there you go. There's a lot of cannons, yeah. but they're they're kind of hard to see. Hey, there's another one down there. Yeah. Oh. Just a little bit higher. Oh, that's just a little <laughs> too high. <laughs> That, oh no, somehow it wasn't hitting. Maybe yeah, try some of the left, left one or something. Just barely missed. Some kind of crosshair would be great. Yeah. That's a little too low. And it was a weirdly squishy sounding for a <laughs> cannonball. Wait, that one's down. One more? Come on. Come on, here we go. Yes! The bravest piece of Lego? Oh, is that all I am to you, a piece of Lego? I'm not an individual infomaniac? Excuse me, I'm a minifig? <laughs> Also, I have a name. <laughs> Did they ever make um, minifigs of the Lego Island characters? I know they definitely had a pepper. I had a pepper one. Really? Yeah, it was. He had like a little, like, wi like glider car thing. It was like huh. a little, a sort of like three wheel car that had like a sail. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a pretty cool little, like, build, like, a little vehicle, but I don't, I don't know if there were any of the other characters. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was, like, the info center with, like, an infomaniac little set, but... It's, it's, it's weird that you say that you had one, because I don't remember. That. I mean, it was, it was just, like, one of those, like, the cheapest ones where it just came with, like, a one minifig and like a, a tiny little vehicle you could build. <laughs> I think I I think I specifically like asked for it because I had Pepper in it. Wow, Pepper from the game Lego Island. He's real. I love it. I love Pepper. He's my favorite video game character. He's, he's definitely one of the top protagonists of any video game. Absolutely, he's the strongest, smartest, fastest, fastest. He can do the most push-ups in a row. I've seen him build a car. <laughs> well, okay, we got the, uh, the gas station and something else. Let's see, let's park this sucker and... I guess there's two new pages. Apparently. It's weird how there's like... 
The Constructopedia is like this all-powerful book. Without this pages, it, it physically removes objects from existence. You know, it seems like it probably should have been a little more protected than just kind of in that guy's like bookcase or whatever Brickster pulled it out from. And then it also calls into question, are these... Are these buildings like... Were they here before the Lego people and the, they were like exist within this book? You so you can use the police helicopter, which is pretty cool. That doesn't Whoa, seem responsible. It is cool, but I bet I can make it look even cooler. Personally, I can't think of anything cooler than a black and white cop copter. <sighs> but you can customize it like any vehicle if you'd like to. Whatever you say, pig. <laughs> Pepper is is like. You're welcome, Deputy Pepper. He just antagonizes the police. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you your mission, which isn't customizing the helicopter. So don't customize the helicopter. <laughs> so whatever you do, don't customize the helicopter. I'm on it, sir. Okay, so the next portal, I think, is it's up in, in the, the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta fly the police cop, uh, chopper. I, I keep calling it copter. I, I guess they have two of them, because the Brigster stole the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's just take it off. I, mm, I love this low angle <laughs> where you can see where you're going. Yeah, that's the only angle apparently. Oh, there was a, there was a guy right there. The Brigster, what? Oh. Yeah, the portal is right there. Can we land? Not a, you can't. You can only land on a helipad. No. Right there. I guess we can ignore him, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't think you like actually need to get a set number of Brickster bots to beat the game or anything. You get a secret ending. Ooh. You get to watch a pre-rendered cutscene where. Pepper brutally destroys and maims all the Brickster bots. We gotta go back. Yeah, <laughs> hold on, guys. I, I really need to go back. I gotta see this. Alright. I remember it taking a lot longer to get to this point in the game. You like the desert, then, uh, yeah, sure. Hello, people. Well, you're here in the desert. That was cool. I got to play for like two seconds. I got to fly to hel the helicopter to a, a nondescript point in the air. And then uh, I got to see a loading screen again. How much of the game do you think is loading screen if you were to like speed run it? Because I feel like it would be a pretty good portion of the game. Mm -hmm. Ahoy, aloha, and welcome to Adventures Island. I'm Johnny Thunder, and this is the lovely... Johnny Thunder? Miss Pippin Reed at your service. The music Miss is Pippin surprisingly Reed. chill. You are? Pepper, ma'am. I mean, Pepper. Not Pepper, ma'am, just Pepper. I'm from Lego Island, and I'm here in search of... Oh, I know. The lost pages of the... Constructopedia? They can all finish yeah, each other's uh, sentences. Yeah. You, you know, they're, they're tight. Help get into the ISIS. He's right. <laughs> wow, this guy but knows listen, everything. We've got a situation here having to do with snakes and gyms. If you help us, we'll help you. There are big good. sharks in the background. All right, budget Indiana Jones. Let's go. What did I just pick up? You got a gem. Oh, of course. So the gems with like the little protrusion on the bottom, so you can stick it into a Lego piece. Yeah, like I, I, I like the music here. <laughs> it's just kind of. It's just kind of quiet and slow. It's, it's actually nice. It, it doesn't really feel very fitting, but mm -mm. we're just chilling. 
Hello. Are you scared? Hi, it sure is odd today. Pepper, you've picked a lovely day for an adventure. These guys are, are way too excited to do this. They're way too chill for what's about to happen. <laughs> oh wow, you showed up on a great day. Let's go on an adventure. It's so nice. And then, if I it's, know... It, it's a little steamy than what I would prefer, but... Is it, I'll be honest, it's a touch more humid than I prefer for an adventure. <laughs> but otherwise, I think it's pretty alright. See this this seems a little more on, on par. <laughs> okay, maybe it's less exciting than <laughs> I thought it was. This looks significantly different than the desert we were just in. Yeah, I also feel like that this minigame was more like jungly. Maybe I'm just thinking of a different part. I think in my head I was just combining the like desert level and like the dinosaur level. I think I'm thinking of like a, a part of the dinosaur world that I'm sure we'll see sooner than we think. <laughs> yeah, it seems like this is like the halfway point. <laughs> yeah. It's going a lot faster than I expected it to. It seemed like it took us a long time to get through the game when we were younger. I guess when you're like an idiot baby and you, you just kind of want to walk around and you don't really pay attention to what you have to I do. I mean, yeah, we could have we could have like collected those gems, but we just ignored them. There's some some breakster bots over there that seemed like you couldn't hit. They weren't doing anything. They're just chilling, so you didn't hit them. That's respectable. Oh, they're there. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess you can't hit them. Either that or you're, like, hitting the wrong spot. I'm just trying to get rid of these snakes. Listen. Budget Indiana Jones doesn't like snakes just as much as real Indiana Jones. The real-life Indiana Jones. Yeah. Which they've made movies based on. Yeah. Yeah, the movies are based on the exploits of a real man. And you are just going to stop oh, here. Definitely not coconut shot, are you, Pepper? <laughs> coconut shot. <laughs> uh... I think the infomania needs to be checked into a home. <laughs> but see, he's just, he's, he's just babbling. Like, nobody knows what he's talking about. <laughs> coconut shot. <laughs> right, Pepper? Coconut shy? <laughs> right, right, get it, get it. I'm just like, if I'm... Also, how did why did I only get silver? That should have been gold, right? You got hit far too many times. Oh, oh we scared him. Oh, you startled me. H hello, Johnny and Miss Reed. I see you brought a friend. Yes, Doctor. This is Pippa, and he's Pepper Roni! He's here to help us get the gems back from the snakes, and... Then we're helping him look for the lost pages that are Constructopedia. The Infomaniac mm -hmm. in Oh, the, the, the Infomaniac. Any, any friend of mine is a friend of mine, or, or, or something like that. Okay, we got two people sent to the home. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. You heard him. I don't remember this area at all. I do. I, I, I think this is like the minigame where we have to memorize tombs or something. Uh, do you okay. remember that? No. I remember like the hitting the, the snakes. There's a snake minigame. Wipe the snakes to keep them down. But yeah. Swipe the gems off for the adventurers. This game is so dark. Yeah, this is this is really dark. Ooh, you got the gym. <laughs> These pesky snakes, they're always stealing gems. They're just, this is like abundance of cartoon gag sound effects. Okay. 
we're doing good so far. Yeah. Yeah, it's just weird how dark this game consistently is. And I, I did look, oops, after the first episode, this is just how the game looks. Huh. Like, I, I thought maybe it was something to do with our recording device, or, um, like, the HDMI. It was just something like, I, I No, the game is just really dark. I just, I believed it was this dark, I didn't, I just thought, huh, I guess they just kind of messed up how it's rendered. It, it seems like they, like, baked the shadows onto the textures or something, and then they, like, it just got too something, dark or something, something or, or it actually is lit and they... This they don't have lit. a. Oh yeah, it's lit. I think. I think actually, what it might be is that it's actually lit, but there's only one light source, so anything that's not getting hit from the first light source just isn't getting any light at all. <laughs> well, there we go. There's that mini game. Snake. Apparently, you have to do really good to get gold in all these mini games. You probably can't miss. Like a uh, a kid would have a lot of trouble. Yeah. Seems like yeah that might might be a problem for. I mean, it, it seemed like it was hard for us when we were little. It seems like not so much a big deal now. <laughs> That's for sure. Not we're like halfway through the game of feels. Not spotted like polka dots or a leopard, but you know what I mean. Someone saw what, the what's he doing? I mean, uh, I don't not know. saw, like cut in half. The point is that there is a page at the mummy's tomb. It's behind a locked door, so you'll need to go to the room of matching mummies. Yeah, the matching the mummies. Hello, I go. almost forgot. Remember, there is a page at the mummy's tomb and a page at the oasis. And I've just heard that there's a page in the jungle. <laughs> Pepper, there's a there's a page in the grass. There's a page in the sand. Hey, Pepper, you writing this down? There's a page over there. There's a page over there. Doctor Kilroy, if you loan your speech to the Pepper, he can meet us there after he's finished here. Makes sense to me, a, a little bit. Pepper will meet us at the oasis. Okay, I'll get to ride in the back of the plane. Ooh, good Ooh, good very good. Oh, exactly. I to ride in the back of the train. Would you make a signpost? A marker for Pepper so you can find us at the eyes? Oh, yes, that would be great fun. Fun? You're an old one, Miss Ray. Uh, but we love you for it. I'm guessing we're looking at the back of his now, head. Pepper, okay. We'll yeah. meet you at the bike lane by the oasis when you're done here. I have no idea what's going on. This game starts you off with the absolute worst camera angles. It just points you somewhere random and it's like, oh, hope, hope you can figure it out from there. One of the incredible patented Lego loading screens going on right here. I want this as a screensaver. I want to see this all the time. Match the symbols in the coffins, get the Constructopedia page, and escape the rolling rock. Okay, so trying to get scared. Uh, like a scene or something. Ooh. I can't even tell what that is. We got matching icons. Okay, a yellow thing like pointing point down or something. There's a red one. Red. <laughs> can't tell what it okay, is. A red. Like a pink. pink. Green. There's a red. Uh, is it this one right here? Uh, maybe. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Get that one. Yellow, that's far. Right here? I think. No, I think it's the first one. 
These are the worst symbols. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just kind of really small and hard to see. Okay. Uh, right there. Right here? Yeah. What's with the, like, the technology side? The green. I remember what that one is. And then the orange one. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Now we come back here and get the page. And then I got myself another rock time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that mummy's curse worked quickly. <laughs> Whoa, that mummy's curse worked quickly. Okay, you just gotta go zigzag. Dang it. <laughs> it's it's uh it's like a really finicky. Just a little fright. Just a little fright. I, I mean, I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. I was. I was scared. I was scared too. I was lying to look brave. <laughs> but Pepster, Pep Pepster, Pepster. I like that name better. <laughs> the Pepster. Yeah. I just keep getting everybody's name mixed up with the Brickster. The Pepper. He will. He just seemed like. Getting run over by the boulder was a minor inconvenience. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we drive to the oasis. Is that what they're saying? Supposedly. So we drive to a, the oasis, and it's a fishing mini game, right? Yeah. I feel like this was also one that was confusing as a child. Mm -hmm. I guess that's just kind of a running theme here is that we were really <laughs> little and we didn't really get how to do any of these, huh? Race to the oasis, avoiding any obstacles along the way. What has been the the best mini game so far? Uh what do you mean by best? Because I don't think any of these are actually good. <laughs> well, I mean <laughs> Honestly it's this one. <laughs> okay. So this one, this one does look like it's, it's probably is the most fun. I, I remember hearing that line a lot. Okay, so the green ones give us a boost. What do the red ones do? I don't do? know. Is it like an item you could use? It didn't say anything about using items. In the instructions. Huh. Well, uh, I don't even see- oh, there's more. Is it like, uh, extra hit or something? I don't- it's like it- that little picture of one uh, pops up in the top corner whenever you, like, it, like, it glows. I'm assuming, yeah, it's just, like, invincibility for a second or something. But that seems, like, almost entirely useless because... They never put it right before something that would hit you. I guess that's just kind of the sort of thing that this game does. <laughs> Maybe it boosts your acceleration. Or I don't max, know, I don't know. Max acceleration. I, I, I'm just throwing some ideas out there. I don't know. Okay, well, here we go. Easily rode a hog standard. Maybe you should be a driver. Well, we can be like... a, we can be a pizza delivery driver. Oh yeah, that might be a little easier than riding around your skateboard, <laughs> hitting pizza in the or hitting people in the face with your pizzas, double slapping them with it. Yeah. It seems like this area has a lot more mini games than the other one did. 
Yeah, I don't remember this area having so many. Like the other one had the the diving, the joust, and then the cannons. And this one's already had the shooting uh, snake mini game, matching, and then that driving one. And now we get to do like another mini game. Or is this just like another like walk hey, around sort news. of thing? I caught a big fish and Wait. Uh oh. Is everybody is there no right? fishing mini game? Oh, we just skipped well, the fishing mini game. game. Oh, I've heard of that before. A friend of mine is a talent agent, and he said you could die from exposure. I think that's a different kind of exposure. But if you take the biplane, we could take the doctor in the seaplane where it's a little. Cool. Lego Island 2 is such a funny game. Follow us. Yeah. Way cool. <laughs> I get to fly a biplane. Life is good. Life is good for Pepper, though. Huh. <laughs> yeah, they they skipped the fishing mini game. Yeah, they just they just. They sent you to the oasis where the mini game happens, and, and then, then said, you just appeared back at the thing, and, and, and I was like, "Man, I just fish. caught a big fish. That fishing mini game was really fun." But this, I don't remember this. Oh wait, maybe I do. Oh. Was this? I don't know, but you must watch where you're going. Maybe this is like, uh... Compromise for, you know... Oops. I remember these, like, sound effects. I just don't really remember this minigame in the first one. No. I think it... I think this is this main game is in the first one. I think it just looks different. Ooh, hit him! Get him! Ooh! Bring low fuel. There you go. I need to um, watch where I'm going. I heard. You must. There's some quiet monkeys in the background, <laughs> gently, <laughs> gently hollering at you. I like how they didn't like explain what these targets are or what they do. And just like, a, go, go shoot some of them. There were a few times when I thought the monkeys had you, but you are certainly tenacious and get right at it and got through. That was really short. <laughs> it was. And we'll continue on the next episode. Alright, let's we'll see what kind of kooky mini games we find ourselves in then.